We're talking with Mustang head women's tennis coach Adam Henning. Uh, the Mustangs, after a couple of weekends of action, uh, sit 0-4. But, uh, Coach, a very tough schedule to begin uh, the season, obviously, in conference play uh, against Augustana, Minnesota State, and Sioux Falls, and a Division three team like Gustavus. Uh, your team has definitely been tested here in the first couple of weeks. Yeah, it's been a, a tough front-loaded schedule so far this season. Um, three conference matches already in the books and three conference tournaments, tournament teams um, that we face. Obviously, uh, Augie with the six-time um, conference champions, tough team, um, Minnesota State, Sioux Falls. But uh, this past weekend, uh, three tough teams again, long, long weekend, uh, a lot of tennis. Um, we played well overall uh, against tough competition. Um, we're playing well considering uh, the scores that we're putting up, but uh, we're getting better with every match and telling the girls just take everything uh, one shot at a time, one game at a time, and in the end we'll be, uh, we'll be there um, where we need to be. So um, right away we start off with Gus Davis, a team that we beat lot last year, um, a team that got better this year, um, and we played well. We lost 6-3, a um, couple close matches, and it could have been a 5-4 win in our favor. Um, a really valiant effort um, by Brittany Thompson, number five singles. Um, battled injury, came back, was losing 8-3 in her super, super tiebreaker. Um, fought all the way back and mm. took a 15-13 um, super uh, tiebreaker win there. So um, some positives come out of the weekend. Uh, the 9-0 loss against Sioux Falls looks bad, but it's, it's really not that bad. Um, we're taking a lot of games to deuce, um, fighting hard. Um, and we're just a couple, couple shots away from, you know, seven, two, six, three. Um, but we're making progress. So. And of course, uh, a fairly young squad, uh, some newcomers, as you mentioned already, Brittany. Uh, you're making some uh, major impacts for your squad, but still uh, a pretty young squad that has not played a lot of college tennis. And uh, this obviously, against these stiff competitions, is going to help uh, your squad here as we get into farther into conference play to try to make a run to the conference tournament. Yeah, ironically, the the kids that are having the most success on the court so far are kids that don't have much tennis under their belts. Ashley Haney, I think, is, uh, three years of tennis, three four years, and then Brittany Thompson's second year um, of tennis. So it's just they're athletes. They're getting into balls. They're running balls. They're competitors, and and that's tra translating well for them on the court. So uh, we need some other kids at the top of the lineup and in doubles. Um, we're, we're a doubles team. We need to win doubles matches for us to be successful as a team. So um, one, two doubles for sure need one wins out of them. And then at the top of the singles lineup, we need to be more successful. You know, and Gabby and Crystal, a uh, very good doubles team. Your number one doubles, uh, they can, you know, match up with pretty much any in the conference and, and give them a good run. Yeah, they matched up with three very, very good doubles teams this, this weekend. And we've challenged them the rest of the year that they, sh they can be all conference duo. And, um, we expect a lot from them, and they went up against probably the best doubles team in Augustana and uh, a pretty good doubles team in, in Gustavus and Sioux Falls. So they've come a long way. They beat Minnesota State's doubles team. So um, from here on out, we're looking for wins from them at a, at a number one doubles to lead us. And um, we just need we need to find four more wins um, from the doubles and singles girls. So. Well, the coach, uh, uh, best of luck this weekend. It continues on. You've got uh, a busy weekend. You go down to Sioux Falls and and, and matches uh, your teams you're very familiar with. But a chance uh, if you play well to get some wins. Yeah, another tough tough team in Upper Iowa, probably second best in our conference. Um, but a very um, winnable match against Winnipeg State. They'll be a tough team. Uh, we played them tough last year, but. Um, it's a winnable match for us to get on the board, and uh, we're just, like I said earlier, we're going to take one shot at a time, and in the end, we'll be where we need to be. So. Well, Coach, thanks for taking a few minutes, and best of luck this weekend. Thanks.